candle. Whoa. Hi, Max. I, I, I have a few uh, little Halloween, Halloweeny snippets. No, little, little. Whoa. Some, some spooky tales from the grave. I don't know from the grave, from the internet. Uh, it's basically a graveyard. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with what I feel is the weakest. Okay. And then we'll work up to the to the <laughs> one that we'll work up to the one that's a very simple one, but it gave me the most amounts of chills. <clears throat> hey, man. Small oh, yeah. small packages and all that, you know. Heyman. Heyman. My friend's grandma's house is, was, up against the cemetery. He always told me it was haunted and that he would see crazy stuff there, but I never believed him. Never. One night, we were over her house, over at her house, and I swear I saw something the size of a toddler run from the living room, through the dining room, and into the kitchen. When I looked at my friend, he just went... Did you see that kid run through the house? It looked more like a fast-running shadow than an actual person. There was no one there. There were no kids around. It was his grandma's house, and we were the only ones over there. It was late, and no doors had been opened, and none had closed. When we told his grandma, she was just like, Oh, don't worry about it. Happens all the time. After that, I started believing in ghosts. And I'm about to read the reason why I chose this article. Mm. My friend also said when he used to sleep there, he used to push the spare room's TV away from him so it faced away because he would wake up in the night and see people in the reflection staring back at him, watching him sleeping. Oof. Yikes! I'll have two scoops of spooky, please. Thank you. Now, I, uh, I was never scared of the TV reflection. But must have been an old TV. Kids these days it. don't even remember that. Dude. What's, what's a reflection? Back, back in my day, TVs had tubes in them, and they had a big glass, <laughs> and God help you if that fucker fell on you. <laughs> Enjoy moving it. <laughs> right? Um... I, I was never scared of a reflection. I'm sure I was, but, you know, not on TV. I guess I never noticed it. I missed your fucking hate mirrors over here, so I, I know if I realized that I would be. But I would never liked it when TV would go to static. Yeah. That always, was shitty. Always a little... <sighs> that was fucking shitty. And some people like that. Like, they can't sleep if there's not static. Insane! Yeah. God. Yeah, that's gross. It's almost the same for me when, and I also can't do this, I can't sleep in a room that's totally dark and silent either. Um, I could sleep most everywhere, but I prefer to have like a fan on. Yeah, there has to be something. I can't just be in a room that's dark and silent and uh, it's like sleep. It's like, Jesus, am I already not asleep in this room that's dark and silent? I might as well be. That's weird. It's just such a, can't do it, man. All right. All right, this next one is uh, interesting. Uh, Lay it on me. I'm trying to find it here. Mm. Okay. It was late, probably between 1 and 3 a.m., and I was sitting at an intersection waiting for the light to go green. The witching hour. That's right. <laughs> Across from me was a dark road with trees on either side and thick woods off to the left and houses to the right. So I'm sitting there listening to music when I see something move at the edge of the woods to the left. Footman. Footland. I said footman. <laughs> now, oh, oh I, I, foot, footman and footland. <laughs> now, this is rural New Jersey, so things moving into the woods are either bears or deer, which aren't scary, but deer will fuck your car up if they run out in front of you. Goatman. Yep. I turned my high beams on to see what it was, but they didn't reach the woods. Then I saw more movement before the light turned green. I made my left turn and drove off, but I couldn't see what it was. The next day, I go the same route. 
on my way to work, and when I get to that intersection, I see that there's police and ambulance over at the edge of the woods where I saw movement the night before. Okay. I, I asked a co-worker what happened, and he said that they had found a dismembered body early that morning what in that spot. The fuck? So I either saw a murderer, a bear, or the Jersey Devil kill or dismember somebody. Hmm. That's creepy. Hmm. That's fucking creepy. Don't like and that. Appara- nope, don't like that. And there's a there's a hyperlink to an article, and apparently the body belonged to a guy that had been missing since 2011. Whoa. <clears throat> now, now you once were out in the desert, uh-huh. and you saw and you saw suspicious characters pulling something out of a truck, right? Yeah. That's creepy. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to, you know... Yeah, I know, but it's like... I'm not saying I saw, you know, somebody get a body getting dumped, but kind of kind of give off that vibe. Now, they didn't see you, right? No. Okay. Man, creepy people. But, I mean, I have rolled up in the past. I have rolled up to weird things that have been followed out of the desert, and that's always been really spooky for me. Yeah, yeah, it's never, never good times when you when you see like an SUV way off, like an old suburban way off the distance, and it starts peeling ass towards you for no reason. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah, that that that's happened to me. Yeah. Um, little Shatner there. It's happened to me. Uh, well, he's on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I'm, I I remember you telling me that story. You guys were in uh, what was it? The the canyon. The 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 screaming witch canyon over there. Yeah, Clax um, Canyon. Yeah, or no, yeah, no, 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 not Clax. Uh, Slaughterhouse. The Slaughterhouse Canyon. Yeah, yeah. And, and a guy followed you guys into town. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. Whatever happened? Did you just lose him? No, we, we lost him in town. So whatever. But still, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty spooky. And like even recently, like uh, I think it was like a year or two ago, they found somebody who had been stuffed in a barrel and buried in the desert. Oh boy. Uh, so, you know. <sighs> and that's that's uh, not even like, you know, skin men. That's just actual men being spooky. Yeah, that's just, that's men men. That's just people being the real monsters. <laughs> not to get too esoteric with you, but man is the real monster. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> Alright, I got the last one here. Okay, this one's supposed to be the spiciest, right? Now this one... I can't even relate to the setting or anything, but it fucking it's something about it sent something up my up my up my chill hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, every once in a while I just don't have words and that was one of those <laughs> whiles. <laughs> one night on deck, this is on a ship. Oh. On deck after pulling up the net, everyone could hear a man yelling. We couldn't quite hear exactly what they were saying, but they were obviously distressed. The strange thing was that we were on deck before sunset and didn't see anyone or anything else around. They're at the ocean. They're on the ocean. Mm -hmm. We called out and searched for hours. We saw and found nothing. There were no reports of missing fishermen, ships, distress signals, so on. Scared everybody, and it was a very quiet trip for the rest of the week. We couldn't quite hear exactly what they were saying, but they were obviously distressed. The strange thing is that we were on deck before sunset. I just read that. I just read. I'm, d- I'm double reading here. Uh oh. The kicker is <clears throat> the entire crew heard a man screaming, and it was none of the crew. Man, how weird must that be? You're out on the ocean. Right. And everybody's accounted for. You don't see any other lights. You don't see any other ships. And you hear a guy screaming. In space, no one can hear you scream. Except somebody heard it. Well, in space. I know, obviously. You're you're saying that. I know. But it's like, you might as well be in space. We're in the middle of fucking ocean. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, it's Uh, It's Desolation 101. And, and, And you fucking start hearing that? Well, I mean, here's the thing, though, right? So... Doesn't the sound carry along the waves? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not learnt on ocean stuff, 
Um, I assume sound is much different on the ocean, the way it, the way it travels. But, I mean, and I know water can transmit sound better than almost anything, I think. Because, you know, the vibrations kind of have something to latch on to. I remember, I remember reading something about that, like, whales can use that to their advantage or some shit. One ping. <clears throat> yeah, um... But man, I don't know. Something about that. Something about that creeped me out. Just putting myself there. Like, you know, you're just doing your job. You're hauling up whatever you're hauling up. Yeah. And you hear, and you hear a guy scream. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it, it could have been like a sea animal or something, but obviously it was ghost ship. Yeah. Maybe it was yeah, a ghost hear- ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. So the ocean's weird, right? Because on the one hand, you've got the freedom of navigation to go any direction, but at the other hand, you're also kind of isolated because if something happens on the boat, you're stuck on the boat, you know? Oh, yeah, you're ultra isolated. Yeah. And I isn't that like one of the biggest things that people note when they're out in the ocean is a, a feeling of a loneliness? Like even when they have a crew, like they... They feel like cut they, off, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a strange phenomenon that happens. It's, I, I think there's a name for it, but... It probably is. Yeah, but it's like a feeling of just loneliness. Yeah. Like aloneness, or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. Ocean's spooky, dude. I ain't, I ain't doing o- that. Oh, no, Ocean's ultra spooky. There's fucking... You got you got aliens down there. Oh, absolutely, man. Oh, yeah, you, you, got, you got ghosts down there. You got freaking... Uh, the Kraken waiting. Yep, you got you got undead pirates that have never stopped sailing. <laughs> Absolutely, man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you got Atlantis. Eh, I'd rather fight you the pirates. It. You got it. You well, got it. Well, that's where the pirates are. Oh. I got that's it. Where the pirates are. Did you see the new Godzilla movie? I didn't. I'm not in theaters. S- s- spoiler, they uh they revealed that his home is Atlantis. No. It was kinda, it was, no, it was kind of neat. It was kind of neat. No, are you was serious? Okay. It was, you know, it's like a throwback to the Hanna-Barbera shit. It was kind of neat. I was fine with it. Oh. I was just fine with it. W- were there, like, mermen there and shit? No, no. I mean, like, the, the city was long since extinct. Oh, just shit. like a ruined city that he chills yeah, out Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. kind of cool, I guess, because it kind of fits the narrative that Godzilla is like this indifferent pseudo protector of man. Exactly. Yeah, I was, I was cool. Yeah, it was just like an underwater, like lost city. Oh, that's kind of cool then. Yeah, it was fine. And he had like a weird shrine that he slept on and shit. Oh. Yeah. Little Godzilla doing sleepy sleeps. <laughs> then you got fucking Mothra jizzing moth jizz everywhere. Yeah. Yep. With her sexy ass legs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> yeah, actually, we are way Halloween. off topic. Spooky, spooky, one sexy for, legs. For, for, hey, hey, no, it's not totally off topic because one year for Halloween, I was a building with Godzilla attached to the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> See. Oh, yeah. You see, I don't know. You seem like the kind of kid who, like, you would dress up as Godzilla and then make your your dumb friends dress up as a building so you just punch them. <laughs> well, I was I was a one man show that year, okay. so I had to do both. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Justin, dress up as Empire State Building. Why? On, just do dude. it. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Just do it, man. Come on. Listen, it's canon. Godzilla attacked New York in that one Come on. spinoff. Come on. It's homage to, to your to your culture. <laughs> You're not, I'm not that kind of Asian. Just do it! Fucker. Anyway, so I don't know. That's, that's, I, I, we'll have more later. We'll have more later on. We'll have more Halloween creep later on. More, more crepes. Yep. More creeps and crepes. That's right. But I'm done. Spooky, spooky gobble. Goblin!